I've always believed that preparation is the, the biggest, you know, asset or tool that we have as athletes to get ready for the mental, you know, challenges of competing. There's going to be fear, there's going to be nervousness. Going out, it is a mental challenge to overcome, uh, you know, the pressures of who's around you, the pressures of being on the competition floor. Nobody goes into competition with zero fear and zero nervousness. Uh, if they do, and if people think that that's the goal, is to try and achieve like this no fear, I don't have nerves, uh, they're not going to be successful because fear and nervousness drives like physiological energy inside of us. It's what propels us to do amazing things. He is a, he's a guy, this is really one of, this is in his wheelhouse. And it, it, it really always is. propelled me to do amazing things and once I accepted that, I was like, okay, the nervousness is coming, like the fear is starting to, to creep in. Just like accept that that's, that's energy and power for me when I'm going to be competing. Competing at a high level takes um, a tremendous amount of commitment, but I think the biggest misconception that people think uh, or they, they overlook is that competing is a mental and emotional commitment, not just a physical commitment. So training hard is uh, something that everybody loves to do and people that want to compete they love to get in the gym it's the time invested mentally and emotionally into you know your your training your recovery thinking about what you're going to be doing in competition that takes a huge demand on people's lives and it's really something that over the years i've i've highlighted as the hardest part of competing and really if if they're not emotionally and mentally like healing and nurturing themselves with good relationships around them um, that the, the training, the physical training suffers. Physically people are all going to start to become very good and have similar traits and you know the differences between people's strength are going to be minimal. It's people's emotional and mental fortitude and strength um, and, and tools that they have is what's going to set them apart in, this, in, in various sports and certainly our, our sport. My, my passion for fitness coaching started many years ago and it was really driven by this desire to see people achieve their goals and to live really just like healthier balanced lives you know I, I felt like I had knowledge that if I could impart on individuals they could live day to day you know more fully and be the best like expression of themselves you know a, there was a market for people who were interested in online training programs and you know one of the big things that we believe in at Revival Strength is you know programs and coaching that are des is designed to build people up and not just break them down. Um, I think in an age where people are always trying to do more and push themselves harder physically uh, there is a bias towards high intensity, high volume all the time um, with no with no real look at like balance and nurturing people and giving people the room to actually improve and over the years I think many people have found that you know if we're always just trying to do more and we're always trying to push ourselves to the next level we can start to leave the gym most days feeling kind of crappy and feeling hurt and in pain so Awaken Training Series really is is different in that you know the the goal is to have people feeling really good while still improving their fitness and that has been the feedback we've gotten over the past year is that um, wow I've, I never knew I could feel this good enjoy fitness this much and still be improving in so many ways.
firm believer that fitness is a medium to help us understand our purpose. And that's a big concept, but I do believe that that can actually be present in a fitness program. And we, the way it's written and the way people go through the training and the way we talk about it, um, it encourages people to really understand like why are they doing fitness in the first place. Um, you know, there's a lot of external influences that are out there for why should somebody actually come to the gym. Oh, you're supposed to go faster. Oh, you're supposed to be skinny. Oh, you're supposed, like, but why do you want to train? And in the right environment and with the right training program and with the right support, people can figure that out for themselves. And once you figure it out for yourself, like that is the recipe to like lifelong health and fitness and success. Cause then you're, then you have your own reason why you're doing it, not somebody else's. And, and that to me is, is truly what, you know, Awaken Training Series can provide people, which is so different than what's out there. And, and it's so unique and it's, to me, it's so profound that it's like, it's why I want more and more people to know about it and take, take a chance on really discovering for themselves why do they do what they do? And why are they going to do that for years and years and years to come? As I took my own journey through fitness, which started all the way back when I was about 10 years old, I've come to learn that through fitness, um, when I commit to my own journey in fitness, I am my best self. I'm, a, I'm able to come to every part of my life, whether it be relationships, work, uh, my actual training, um, feel, feel my best and put my best foot forward. And any time that I in my life that I have been distracted from my fitness or other parts of my life have gotten in the way, um, I've seen a decline in all aspects of my life, um, the quality of what I bring to it. So for me, you know, my, my purpose in training um, comes back to knowing that through training, I can be the best version of myself that I wanna be. I can truly be, you know, the person that, um, my friends and my family, you know, love and rely on and, and can, uh, you know, feel most connected to. And every day it's like I, I know that when I walk into the gym that, you know, this is, while it's so much fun and I do truly enjoy the actual training, like this is a, this is a tool for bigger things in my life. And if I don't commit to it and I don't stay focused, um, other aspects are going to kind of fall off. And, and I won't be as fulfilled.